Yo, what is up? You want to see a flash flood? Bam. Manker E, 14.4. Let's check it out. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I apologize for my voice today. I'm not feeling 100%. But fortunately, the star of today's show is at 100%. This is the Manker E14-4, a beast of a pocket flutter. So if you like a nice floodlight-esque beam in a small form factor, this is a light to check out right here. And this is my new favorite flutter in my collection, and I'll show you why in this video. A uh, couple really unique things going on in this flashlight I haven't seen in any other lights yet. So can't wait to show you those. Staring you in the face are four Samsung LH. 351D neutral white emitters. This flashlight, if you don't like neutral white um, color temperature or light tint, it's also available in cool white as well. So if you like a nice white light or a little bit warmer tint, you can choose with the Manker E144. Comes in this nice two-tone box, kind of matches the two-tone look of the light itself. Um, I like that. Quality packaging, and um, you get a lot of goodies from Manker included. By the way, I do want to thank Minker very much for sending this light to the channel for review. Um, very honored to get to check this thing out, and it has impressed me. And I think it will impress you as well. So we're going to go over in this video kind of what's included with the light, the user interface, and the output. We'll take this thing outside to get some beam shots, which is really what you're here for, let's be honest. But yeah, let's uh, go through what's included real quick. You've got the manual right here. I'm going to flip through this a little bit with you. So I'll show you that. Um, you get a nice lanyard included as well with a cinch, kind of cushiony and branded in orange as well. As a, my favorite accessory for flashlights is light diffusers. This light comes with one, really appreciate that. And if you're not familiar with the light diffuser, this is just an attachment that goes onto the bezel of the light so that when the light's turned on, the, the diffuser reflects all the light evenly in a surrounding area. So you have a mini lantern. Uh, if you like, a little bit of area light or a little work light as well. Speaking of work light, before I forget, this has a magnetic um, tail cap or base plate. So if you're the type of person that uses that feature, this is a good option as well. Um, very tail standable on that note. So makes a fine little lantern with this diffuser, in my opinion. Um, in addition to the diffuser, you get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And you might be wondering why, because you can't see any charging ports on this. Um, this light does come with a, an 18350 battery with a built-in USB-C charging port. So really nice battery here, 3.6 volts, 1100 milliamp hour capacity, little 18350. So a short and stocky cell, but a good amount of capacity for its size. There's that USB-C port right there. So you do not need a separate charger to charge this light. Um, with this port, that's nice. Although you could throw this in like a spring-loaded charger as well. It'll work just fine. Um, yeah, here's a look at the inside of the head, just in case you're curious. I don't know these components, but I know people get pretty into it. Um, the body of the light here is very unique, and this is actually one of the two unique things about this flashlight I have not seen, and I hope other flashlights, flashlight companies take a note. If this isn't a, if this is not a, uh, you know, patented feature exclusive to Manker. I would love to see more of this in the flashlight industry. This, this is so cool. Check this out. So, um, yeah, you got the short kind of form factor going on with the Manker E144. But let's say you want a little extra capacity, a little extra runtime, and a little tiny uh, edge in output as well. You can unscrew this tail cap and then the body of the light telescopes. And then from here, if you, if you turn the light counterclockwise, you can catch on some threads and it'll lock into place in this longer form. So yeah, a little more to hold on to, but this also enables you to use a different type of battery. So instead of this uh, short and stocky 18350, you can now use 18650s in this light. So it's almost like you got two lights for the price of one here. I am a big fan of this myself. So I tested this with uh, flat top batteries and button top batteries and both work just fine in this flashlight. So got to be one of my favorite features, probably my favorite feature of this light. Um, I think it's extremely useful. I like to have options as a consumer. So this is a big win from Manker. Well done um, designing this body. Very, very cool. 
very thoughtful. There's a moonlight mode. We'll go through all the modes outside where you can see it in a more practical sense. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like the appearance of this light. Um, the milling is good, got good grip texture, kind of squared frag pattern going on um, on the, the body here and the, the tail. There is sort of a slot here um, for a clip. This light doesn't come with a clip. Um, and honestly, that is my one and only gripe with this light. Everything else is outstanding. I wish it would come with a clip just so that it's when it's in this longer form, um, you have the option. But the good news is if you're a flashlight person or you already have some lights with clips, there's a good chance one that you have will fit into this section right here. Um, yeah, here you've got the orange peel reflector and those LEDs sitting pretty shallow behind the lens. So everything about this just screams floodlight. You're going to get a nice, even, broad spilling beam with this, which we will see here momentarily. Um, what else did I leave out? Oh, yeah. Uh, spare O-ring here to replace um, if you want to keep your water tight rating intact. Um, and we'll go over the manual. Like I said, um, the UI is not difficult with this light. Nothing too complex, especially if you have some flashlights in your collection already. Nothing's really going to throw you for a loop. I will hold this open so you can pause and check out any features or specs you may like to. I'll get a close up on this chart here. So on the top portion is going to be your runtime and output information using the cool white LEDs. And then under that, you've got the neutral white LED information, um, which is the model of light we have in this video to check out. And I really do like this neutral white. Um, these LEDs, it's, the light output is so even and the tint is very easy on the eyes. It's a perfect little flutter in my opinion. Um, and then here's that chart. So we will go over this in some more detail, but I just wanted to show you that basically um, the UI is very straightforward and you can get into several different menus, I'll call them, so that there's an eco mode, general mode, and special mode. This is basically your strobes, your blinkies, and then a turbo can be accessed from on or off with a double click. Strobe can be accessed from on or off with a triple click. Moonlight's a long press and release, and that brings you into the eco mode where you can cycle through additional low outputs. So yeah, we'll check all that out. And um, in fact, I, I think I don't have any more tabletop stuff. So let's get this thing outside and check out what you really want to see. Those beam shots. All right. Doing a little voice over here because the dogs were out, the frogs were out, the June bugs and the mosquitoes. Good old fashioned summer night in the south. But yeah, this is the low 90 lumen setting right here, what we're looking at. Jumping up to the medium 460 lumen setting here. And then we're going to push it up to the 750 lumen high setting. Really start to see that beam pattern nice and even. And here's that turbo 2100 lumens output. Something to note, uh, you can actually get more lumen output using the cool light version of this same light. Uh, this is using the, the 18350 cell that's included. Just wanted to use that battery when it comes to this. There's the 0.1 lumen moon mode, and now we're in the eco menu. This is a 20 lumen setting. And then we jump up to 55 lumens. And then from 55 back to the 0.1 lumen. So those are the output settings in the eco mode is the 0.1 lumen, 20 lumen, and 55 lumen. And then um, obviously double clicking from on or off can get you right into turbo, 2100 lumens. And uh, triple clicking can bring you right into strobe. And then from strobe, if you press and hold, you can go into SOS and <clears throat> another alert type of output as well. So you can cycle through those blinkies. But uh, yeah, here's the lockout. So that's just four rapid clicks to put the light in lockout mode. The indicator lets you know the light's locked out, which is nice to have that feedback. Four rapid clicks will bring you out of lockout. So in and out of lockout, just four clicks. Pretty straightforward. Um, I like the UI or user interface of this light. It's got everything I look for and not too much extra. So it's not overly complicated. Final thoughts on the E144. In my opinion, this is a fantastic pocket flutter. It's, there's not a lot I can pick on with this light. I really like the different LED options you have, if you like cool or neutral white. Um, I like the beam pattern. I like the UI. I like how there's that eco, eco menu, I'll call it. So if you just want to stay in the lower outputs, you've got that. And then I like how you can access moon, turbo, and strobe, all from the switch. Um, I like how it's got a lockout mode. I like the Battery status indicator, I like the texture of the light. 
I love how you can, it's like a dual fuel light. You can run the 18350s or 18650s in this. Really cool feature, in my opinion. The only thing I can really pick on is the lack of a clip. Um, I'll say I understand why they did not include it though, because in this shorter configuration, the clip, either way it would go, would leave like half of the light um, sticking above the pocket line if you're carrying this. So I understand why they didn't include a clip, but when this is in the longer configuration, I think a clip would be really nice. Um, so I, I'd like to see it included rather than not, but all in all, fantastic light. I, I'm very impressed with this thing. And um, yeah, I, I can say I recommend it. Right now these go, if you're looking for something like this, I would recommend it. Um, these go in the mid 60s US right now. I think I see them for about $65 to $64.95 US. Um, you can find them slightly cheaper than that on AliExpress right now at the time of recording. But um, yeah, for that, for that, I think you're getting a lot of value here. And this is a light that could last you for years to come. Got a great um, 60 month warranty or five year um, kind of repair warranty on this light. You've got IP67 water rating. You've got the one meter drop rating. The fact that you can replace the batteries out of this thing adds to the longevity as well. Um, I don't care for lights with built-in batteries just because once those built-in batteries go, then the light's done. So I like how you can swap the cells out in this thing. So yeah, if you're in the market for a relatively small size pocket flutter um, with some tricks up its sleeve, this E144 is a good option in my opinion. So I really wanna thank you so much for watching the video if you made it this far. Um, if you have any other questions about this light, let me know. I'll try to get those answered in the comments. But um, yeah, I appreciate you taking the time. If you don't mind leaving a like on the video, that helped me a lot. And if you like flashlights and flashlight content, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this to come. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless you and take care.